Hey! Aloha, guys. It's Edwin Boyer. I hope you're having a fantastic day. You know, I'm having a really great day. Sometimes I like to create things. Sometimes I like to draw things. I like to draw my favorite things. And you know what? You can draw too. I'm gonna show you how. Now, sometimes people think they need expensive art supplies. I've got these quality number two pencils. My wife couponed for them, and they were only a penny for a pack of, of 12. How great is that? And again, I don't have fancy art paper. I've got this nice printer paper. My wife was able to coupon, and she got a pack of 500 for just a penny. So today, I'm going to teach you how to draw, and I'm gonna give you my two cents. Now, what am I gonna teach you how to draw? I'm gonna teach you how to draw a fudge sickle because, well, fudge sickles are one of my favorite things. They're very fun and they're very tasty. And anyone can draw a fudge sickle. I'm gonna show you how. You ready? Let's go. All right, a fudge sickle, hang on, let me get a sip of this, mmm. Mmm. Coffee is also one of my favorite things. Now, a fudge sickle has a classic shape, right? Right, it's got a nice, nice little taper to it and it comes around and then it's got a little stick right on the end right and the stick has a little bit of texture because it's made out of wood and then everybody knows kind of what a fudge sickle looks like when it comes out of the freezer right it's got those little sparky sparklies in there and just working a little texture right working a little texture till we start getting that that classic fudge sickle appearance now the problem with just a fudge sickle is, well, it's just there laying on the page. And sometimes it's better to put stuff in context. So let's let's really enjoy this fudge sickle. So what do we got here? What do we, what is what is the paper? Oh, maybe it's somebody enjoying the fudge sickle. No, so so he's really enjoying it. And you can see he's got his mouth wide open. And sometimes when I draw. I like to picture the things that might be behind it. So his tongue, you know, you can imagine, you can imagine him just dropping that, that tasty fudge sickle right on his tongue. All right, now what kind of person is this? What kind of person is? This? Oh, it's a man. It's a man. He's got, he's got a mustache. He's got a nice mustache. Maybe he knows Tom Selleck. Wouldn't that be cool if he knew Tom Selleck? All right, all right. Now let's let's see what kind of face suggest this here. We're just going to suggest the nose and you would think he would be happy. Let's let's see if he's happy. Is this a happy man? Let's see what his eyes tell us. Oh, those don't look like happy eyes. Oh, I see a little bit of sadness and despair, but let's let's keep seeing his face. Let's keep seeing his face and see what it suggests to us. Well, he's got glasses. He might be smart. Yeah, maybe he's one of those clever gentlemen. And let's see what else his face his face tells us. Oh, he's got a sporty jacket. He must be going for an adventure. He's a man of adventure. But I keep seeing the sadness in these eyes. I see sadness in his eyes and his face. Let's see what else we can get got some nice sporty hair. Now sometimes when I draw hair I just like to lay my pencil on the side and just work in a little texture. Just imagine it working out from the scalp, working out from the scalp. And I have the feeling that this guy doesn't listen too much. You know, he's got a large mouth and maybe I'll just draw out some teeny teeny little ears. He doesn't need to listen much. And I still look at this face and I see I see sadness, I see sadness. So let's draw some little tears. Let's draw some little tears coming down his face. And we're just gonna outline, right? We're gonna do a little, a little heavy shading here. And then we're gonna give these tears just a little bit of shading so they really pop off so you can see. Now, you would think, you would think with this, if I had a fudge sickle, I'd be happy, right? Because it's it's frozen and it's chocolatey and it's good. But 
for some reason, this man is sad. Don't be sad. Anyway, thanks for joining me today. And again, you know, people think you need expensive art supplies or maybe even artistic talent. <laughs> that's absolutely not true. You just need the joy that's in your heart and anyone can draw a fudgesicle. Anyway, gang, thanks for joining me today. I hope you're having a fantastic day.